The Assassins vs Templar conflict always used to be, and to a certain degree, is still a major part of almost every Assassin's Creed game. However, we almost always see everything from the perspective of one side, and obviously when you hear things from only one perspective, you're bound to be on that side and assume the other side is wrong. However, I'd argue that even in the first Assassin's Creed, they always hinted that the Templars may not be so bad and evil after all. Robert de Sabla, the Templar Grand Master, proved to be an ally of Altair's rather than an enemy who protected him from Al Mualim, the assassin mentor. So the very idea that this conflict isn't black and white or good versus evil has existed from the very beginning. However, I'd say it took until about AC3 for this idea to become more prominent in the games. Of course, everyone refers to that rooftop scene with Connor and Haytham, where Haytham absolutely humbles Connor, explains the Templar's views and reasonings for why they believe in order and control, and why freedom is is nothing more than an invitation to chaos. And what's Connor's response? It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. Good one, Connor. Give me leave! I think the fact that Haytham Kenway is also the son of Edward, a fan favorite protagonist from Black Flag who was an assassin, also helps make the association that the Templars aren't completely evil. I mean, surely the son of Edward Kenway wouldn't go against his father's footsteps and join the enemy without good reason. So after the popularity with the idea and concept of having a more fleshed out conflict between assassins and Templars, we got AC Rogue. Now apparently AC Rogue was originally supposed to feature Haytham Kenway as the protagonist, but they likely decided to create a new character in Shay because the book Assassin's Creed Forsaken already did such a great job of telling Haytham's story. But Haytham still has a pretty large role in Rogue, despite him not being the main focus. AC Rogue is the first and only game to flip the script and allow us to play and see things from the Templar perspective after a near decade of assassin-only protagonists. It was a great idea in general, and it's too bad it got relegated to being AC Unity's loser little brother, because this kind of story and concept with fresh, fancy new graphics and gameplay mechanics in Rogue easily could have stood among the best AC games. But there's no denying in AC Rogue the Templars are the most agreeable and understandable we've ever seen them, and the Assassins are the opposite. So are the Templars right in AC Rogue? Well, in general, I've always viewed the Assassin and Templar conflict as there is no right or wrong, just an order and a creed that want the same thing but have different principles and methods for obtaining it, and in reality, the world might just be better off without either of them interfering. The oversimplification of the conflict has always been the assassins want to bring peace and protect people's freedom and free will, while the Templars want to achieve peace by providing order and stability. However, to do so, they must control everybody and take away free will. What's interesting about Rogue, though, is the whole free will thing isn't really present at all. Instead, it's about the assassins wanting to remove these precursor boxes from ancient sites before the Templars can. It's not really explained very well why exactly Achilles is so insistent on removing these precursor boxes, but it's safe to assume part of it is because he doesn't want the Templars to have it at any cost. So when Shay removes the box in Lisbon, it of course causes an earthquake, causing thousands of innocent people to die, and for some reason when Shay confronts Achilles about it, Achilles doesn't believe him or thinks it was just a coincidence. Now I think the reason why Achilles acts like such a villain at times during Rogue is likely related to the death of his family, which is rarely touched on because Rogue's story is so short, but I think that's a key detail about his character. It clearly changed him as stated by Shay and Liam earlier in the game. But my point is, rather than this conflict in particular being about free will versus control, it's about the assassins wanting to remove these precursor boxes and prevent the Templars from getting their hands on them for vague reasons, while the Templars and Shay are trying to stop them from triggering another earthquake and killing tons of innocent people. I think people have some merit in saying the assassins feel like genuine villains in Rogue and their motives don't make a ton of sense. Again, it's a shame Rogue is so short because that definitely could have been explained better. Also, quite conveniently, the Templars at times do seem less evil than they did in previous games, which I think does make sense. With Haytham as Grand Master, I think the Templars are far more agreeable and rational, but it does ring true that Shay is never really exposed 
exposed to the more evil side of the Templars that we've seen in the other games. He never is faced with the fact that the Templars want to take away free will, and instead only knows that the assassins are going to do something that will actively kill tons of people, and the Templars are the heroes trying to stop them. So are the Templars right in AC Rogue specifically? Yes, they are. The Templars are trying to save the world, essentially, from the assassins and their arrogance. And while it's clear the assassins don't want to kill all these people, their actions are not very consistent with the kind of creed we're used to, and we can chalk that up to Achilles and his leadership. It all could have been avoided, possibly even Shay's turn could have been avoided, if Achilles hadn't been so hard-headed and listened to Shay from the start, which he comes to understand at the end anyway. And it seems like the other assassins, like Hope and Liam, kind of followed Achilles blindly because they were always led to believe that the Templars are evil. So while in general, I'd say there is no right or wrong in the conflict, for Rogue specifically, it's very clear to me that the Templars are right and the assassins are wrong. As I think Achilles comes to terms with it by the end, which would explain his poor and pitiful state in AC3. You could also just argue that the reason the assassins might seem so evil in Rogue is because the events were manipulated and changed by Abstergo, like in AC Liberation, in order to sway your mute employee and others to join them. But that was never confirmed to be what happened, so seeing the story as it's told to us, the Templars are clearly right in this story. However, as a whole, I still believe the conflict between the two factions isn't meant to have a good or evil side. But I'm curious what you guys think about this, so let me know down in the comments if you think the Templars are right, specifically in Assassin's Creed Rogue, and then let me know your take on the conflict as a whole. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you considered leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. I also now have channel memberships if you'd like to join for exclusive perks like shoutouts or getting to see my videos early. Click the link in the description or the join button next to my channel. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.